Welcome back to the Barber's Alarm to Hair tutorial. Now, this is Indy and he has a parting cut in. Now, this is how his hair is styled when he came in this morning. He needs that cut parting put back in, but I'm going to show you how to keep that hair away from the parting so it's a little bit more defined. His hair's wavy as well, so we're going to be drying it back from the front but over to the sides. Now, more importantly, we have the crown. The crown needs to be followed, as you can see. He's done it this morning and it's sticking up, but he's also put far too much paste into his hair in one area, and that's why it matters to spread it out throughout your hands and to put it through the hair evenly. Okay, now that we've cut in these hair, we've taken the sides down to a half with the parting cut in. Now what we don't want to do is we don't want the hair to come forward to have this weight on there. And also what you don't want is you don't want the hair covering it. You cut it in for a reason, it wants to be defined. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the hair over, away from it, and then straight forward on the parting just to bring it away so you can see it. Now when we're drying, we're going to be using the the hairdryer down on this part okay down there and then straight off from there right into the root bringing the hair up and back over to straighten the hair in this hair is quite wavy so you, we want to control that and make it nice and sharp Okay, now once we've dried Indy's hair with the part in, you can see that the hair is now holding its shape. So when you're drying the hair, you're creating a canvas to put the product onto. Um, it's, I like using a defining paste that creates more of a dry look, but with this style, we're gonna use something with a little bit of shine, not too much. Um, if you want it a very slick look, you can always use a pomade, same again. Very, you can see that's much different consistency. It's much more of a cream, okay? But still, working it around the hand, using all of it, starting with your fingertips again, just bringing it back, and you can start smoothing it down a little bit more. Just working it through the hand, getting rid of all these white bits in there. You don't want those. <laughs> 